This was the moment Egypt had been waiting for. Omar Suleiman announces that President Hosni Mubarak has resigned. After 18 days of protests, in the end, things moved swiftly. On the streets, there were scenes of unmitigated joy. Across Egypt, an estimated one million people had gathered to protest. This was Friday, the day of prayer, but also dubbed the day of departure. Egypt is now in the hands of the military high command. Questions are being asked about the extent to which the army is ready to embrace democracy. One analyst has described it as only the end of the beginning. Millions of people came out to celebrate across what is the most populous nation in the Arab world. Thank God he's gone, he says. Nothing he could have said would have made any difference. We just wanted rid of him. Whoever replaces Mubarak has to work for the country and for its people. And we have to change the constitution so they can only stay for two terms. We don't want someone who will take power and give jobs to their family. We want a parliamentary democracy like other republics. We want a prime minister to run the country and a president in name only. The street power of the protesters is the best deterrent to any attempts to maintain military rule. After three decades, they showed Mubarak that Egypt is ungovernable without their consent.